in Tenerife in the Canary Island. Yuki just started his freediving course. Freediving is one of my uh, favorite activity. That's why I really wanted Yuki to, to get into it. Like you would not believe how much progress he's gonna do with just a couple of days of uh, training. Freediving is not really about how long you can hold your breath or how deep you can go, but more about the experience itself. Like the, the feeling you have like when you dive is just like too good to be, to be ignored. So let's see how Yuki is doing. One more minute. Four, three, two, one. Come up. Come up. Come up. Okay. This one is actually a pretty good example of somebody who's really good with uh, being being able to maintain consciousness with even super low yeah, now he's starting to yes yeah, so now he knows he's not gonna make it mm. the safety diver since he touched the line he's already disqualified they just bring him up and he starts breathing immediately uh, it takes a bit of time for the oxygen to actually reach the brain but yeah, yeah it's a few seconds and he is he's coming back That was seriously so good, except from the sinuses situation. I was struggling really hard to, uh, to equalize my sinuses, uh, which was a bit surprising actually, because uh, I don't have like, I'm not, I don't have anything in my nose. So it's uh, very strange, but eventually it worked out and it was really, really, really good uh, to get down to at least 10 meters and to try and feel how it is to, to stay comfortable, you know, because uh, hopefully we're gonna get to uh, the shipwreck. And to get to the shipwreck, that's like 20 meters. So I need to, uh, you know, get used to this and get ready. And at least it's really good to feel that, uh, that we, that, is, that the problem is not really the breathing stuff, you know. Now it was the sinuses, which we're gonna equalize and fix for tomorrow. And then, once that is cleared, I should be able to get to 20 minutes. And then I can play a lot. Which I'm so excited about.
Yeah, now I felt like we uh, we got a little bit deeper here. So uh, I think we got to like 14. And today the sinuses is a little bit better. I still need to clear it a bit more. I really, really want to get to the record. At least now I could see it, you know, I could see it there and just see like it felt like it was so close. So uh, I'm really, uh, I'm really excited to actually uh, clear this stuff out so I can go down there and, and play with you, you know. We did some, uh, we did some practice on that to save someone's life. I obviously hope I uh, don't need to uh, save you, but uh, now at least I can do it if there is, if there is an emergency. Maybe we will do one anyway, so I can give you some mouth to mouth, you know. Yeah, bro, it's gonna be sick. Are you ready, Alex? You told me you were, were you were going to go first to show me how it's done. What you're doing is that we're supposed to squirt this and you're supposed to put that up your nose and it's supposed to clean everything and come out the other side. <laughs> so is she just squeeze harder? Oh, oh, FIFA. Oh, I can't wait for Alex to go, go next. It's gonna be good. You look, you look forward to that, huh? I was never good in school, but uh, it looks like I might have done 100% correct for the first time in my life. Oi, 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 two more. Two, yeah, it's not. No! Gonna, <laughs> it's not gonna be a. It's not gonna be a. 100% man. Oh yeah, because yeah, it's a... Uh, wrong. Oh, Last one. Oh, 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 yeah. Yeah. yeah, and I also feel like uh, the D, like emergency plan and all that, I mean, you should always have that as a standard. So maybe. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But still, it is a good. There's so many dodgy questions there, you know. Uh, a D is the correct one there, yeah, okay. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. There's so many dodgy questions that you actually managed to do all mm -hmm. correct. One is not so we had one uh, one wrong, but yeah. uh, since I said all answers are correct, <laughs> that means I'm just even safer. Yeah, oh, cool. that's good. That's good. Yeah. So well done. Exam is done. Uh, in all fairness, you have done all the requirements. Today, um, what we're going to do is um, we're going to uh, work on the core skills. I know you can go a lot deeper than what you currently dive in, but what we're going to focus on is going to be uh, really making those core skills work really well. Mm. And uh, increasing that slowly um, and see, see uh, how you how you do it. That was good, really, really good, huh? First free fall, and it's so nice. It's like you just tuck in and go, and then you have to not forget to equalize because I did that one time. I was like, ooh, I'm free fall. Ah, like, oh, the pressure was so heavy, but really nice. I find it, uh, yeah, it's quite fascinating actually that feeling. And when you're down there and you see the wreck, and you're just like, wow, dude. You look around, it's just like this insane visual. Wow, that's so fun. I love this sport. We're gonna do this a lot, you know that, right? Yeah, perfect. That was my plan. You made it. Oh, I love you, man. Well, well, super well done. good, well done, super well good. Well done. Now you definitely deserve this one, man. 
I'm really looking forward to uh, some fun diving. Yeah, yeah. it's gonna be nice. Yeah, you're gonna, you're gonna, you're gonna chill a little bit. Uh, all the skills that you have learned, they're gonna come to you, you know? Awesome. Thank you so well, much um, for this awesome teaching, huh? Well. Yeah, bro, I made it. I'm so excited about this. It is so cool that in just two days was all we needed to, to get one of these certificates. And the fact that you can do so much fun stuff with uh, the skills that we just learned, you know? So I'm really excited about uh, the next couple of days where we can do some more fun diving. But for those of you who are more interested in learning more about free diving, uh, about Pavel and uh, you know his service here at Atlantis Freediving, we plan to have a podcast session with him at the end of the week before we leave. So if you want to check into that, make sure to hit the subscribe button and to maybe even hit the bell. And we'll see you in the next episode.